Good evening and welcome to this service of Compline or night prayer for the Advent season on this Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. My name is Jim Bernanke. Uh, Mother Mary Reese and I are priest associates at All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, North Carolina. And we welcome you to this service of prayer and praise to our God and also in preparation for Christmas and Jesus second coming at the end of time. And we thank you for being part of the service with us, no matter where you are. So please join in with the people's parts in bold print. Let us begin the service of prayer and praise to our wonderful and awesome God. Come to us this night, O God. Come to us with the light. Speak to us this night, O God. Speak to us your truth. Dwell with us this night, O God. Dwell with us in love. May your holy angels, O Christ, Son of the living God, tend our sleep, our rest, and our bright bed. Let them reveal true visions to us in our sleep, O High Prince of the universe, O great and mysterious King. May no May no demons, no evil, no injury or terrifying dreams disturb our rest, our prompt and swift repose. May our waking, our work, and our living be holy, our sleep, our rest, without hindrance or harm. Amen. Let us offer to God our prayer of thanksgiving. Thanks be to you, O Christ. For the many gifts you have bestowed on us, each day and night, each sea and land, each fair weather, each calm, each wild thing. Each night may we remember your mercy, given so gently and generously. Each thing we have received, from you it came. Each thing for which we hope, from your love it will come. Each thing we enjoy, it is of your bounty. Each thing we ask, comes of your disposing. O oh God, from whom each thing that is freely flows, grant that no bond between ourselves and this world be too strict, nor too lax. Amen. Please join in the people's parts for Psalm 85. Keep us safe, O Lord, in the darkness of this night for the eternal kingdom where there is flaming radiance forever. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortunes of Jacob. You have forgotten, forgiven, the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying. For he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him. That his glory may swell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity. And our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep us safe, O Lord, in the darkness of this night, for the eternal kingdom, where there is flaming radiance forever. O God, as these words are read, 
in our hearts, may we feel your presence. The scripture reading for this evening is taken from Romans. Now is the time to wake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Turn to us again, O God, our Savior, and let your anger cease from us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your compassion, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your salvation is near for those that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. May we do the will of God, sharing in the death of Christ. And rise in the light of heaven. May we rest safely this night. Sleep in perfect peace. And rise with the morning light. May God watch over our beds. Christ fill our dreams. And the angels guard our souls. May the peace of the Spirit be ours this night. The peace of the Son be ours this night. And the peace of the Father be ours this night. Each morning and evening of our lives. Amen. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. And the blessing of God keep us this night and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us in night prayer this Tuesday, December 19th. We hope that you can join in our remaining online prayer services this week. Tomorrow and every Wednesday at 12 noon, we offer noonday prayer. And this Sunday only, Sunday, December 24th, we will live stream our one Holy Eucharist service at 10 a.m. for the fourth Sunday of Advent. Now, this Sunday evening, Christmas Eve, uh, we will um, 
live stream Holy Eucharist services at nine, 4 and 9 p.m. And then uh, next Tuesday, uh, we will resume our services of Compline at 2, 8 p.m. These services can be found on the website of All Saints Episcopal Church, Concord, North Carolina, www.allsaintsconcord.org, on the All Saints Concord Facebook page, or on the All Saints Episcopal Church, Concord, North Carolina YouTube page. We also invite you to attend our in-person Holy Eucharist services. First of all, this Sunday at 10 a.m., in church for the fourth Sunday of Advent. And uh, it is that service is child and family friendly. And it's not in the church, but in the parish hall, rather. On Sunday, December 24th in the evening, we begin our celebration of Christmas with Christmas Eve. And we have two uh, Christmas Eve Holy Eucharist services, um, 4 p.m. service, which is more informal and child and family friendly and a more formal service at 9 p.m. with organ and choirs. As I said, both of these services are in the main church. Next Monday, December 25th, Christmas Day, we will offer one service of Holy Eucharist at 10 a.m. and the church. All Saints Episcopal Church is located at 525 Lake Concord Road Northeast, Concord, North Carolina, 28025. If there's any way that we can assist you, please contact us at our church office, area code 704-782-2024. Our church office is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but the church office will be closed this Friday and next week, Monday and Tuesday for the Christmas holiday. On behalf of the Reverend Nancy Cox, Rector of All Saints Church, along with our vestry clergy and lay leaders, we pray that you have a good night, a very happy and holy Christmas season. Take care, and may God bless you this night and always.